This is Camarasaurus. Although considered a smaller sauropod, Camarasaurus was between 50 and 65 feet long and weighed up to 20 tons. Also called the chambered lizard, Camarasaurus had a hollow air sac that made its neck both very light and strong. Now this Camarasaurus is very stylized as was put in the patch notes for the description, but we're going to go through the subspecies here right quick. This is the male, basically like the balanced subspecies. Then we have the male Supremus, Lapis, Acutius, Altrus, Priscillus, Vetus, Ferrex, and back to Imperator. All right, and here is the female skin, just more green, not much difference. All right, and we're gonna go through the calls right quick. Here is the broadcast. Whoa, two call. Okay, threaten. Dang, he's just too big for me to show the whole thing. Four call. I like that. I like that a lot. Talk. Shake. Kind of like a little dance here. Stretch. Look around. Mystery. And mystery number two. It's like another shaky mode. All right, and here is the baby model. As you can see, he's a small boy. All right, we're gonna go through the calls right quick. Here is the broadcast. God, that was too cute. Two call. They're like dolphins. Oh my gosh. Three call. That's not scary. Four call. Talk. Shake. Stretch. Look around. Mystery one. Ooh, I don't know what he's doing. Mystery two. All right, an invite is the same as the two call. Let's check out some of the movement. Here's our walk. Our run. Let's see if we have a crouch. There we go, there's our crouch. Our crouch walk. Kind of slidey. Here's our sit. Ooh, he goes all the way on his side. Okay. 
I sleep? He's so big, it's hard to get him in the camera. Guy looks dead though. <laughs> All right, here's our get up. All right, and here is our adult model. He is freaking huge. You could just take a look at that muscle everywhere. All right, here we go. We're going to do our walk animation. All right, here's our run. Very slidey, but not terrible. All right, here's our crouch animation. And right back up. And then we have our sit. Oh, yes, he's a good boy. All right, and then we're going to do our sleep. Playing dead in the bushes. <laughs> Seriously, you wouldn't be able to tell if this guy was alive or not. And now we're gonna do our get up. Okay. Here's our eating animation. Here is our precise movement. There we go. A slow little side shuffle. And our back. All right, and here is our drinking animation. Yeah, he takes big gulps, he really drinks it in. I'm pretty sure their water probably fills up extremely slowly. And here's our swim animation. Oh my gosh, his legs barely move. Don't know how he's swimming at all. All right, and we're gonna go through the skins right quick. This is the default female skin. Then we have Mudslide, Sunstorm, Gold Coast, Tropical, Grayback, Vivid, Ranger, Wild Snow, Melanistic, Albino, Greenwater, Attition, Monarch, and Ungulata. These are kind of wild, wow. Lots of variety here. Let's look at the abilities right quick. It looks like we have multiple slots for almost everything. So for head, we have Rabid Bite, a hard to land bite attack that applies a debuff called Massacre. Dinosaurs with the Massacre debuff have their combat combat weight reduced by 23% for five seconds. That's insane. And then we have Neck Sweep, a wide damaging frontal attack. Your turning is drastically boosted while using this ability. Oh, that's crazy. And then for senses, we have sponge, 10% increased damage mitigation in water, max stamina increased by 100% in water, and increased maximum oxygen supply. That's crazy. They really want us to have an aquatic sauropod here. Then we have chambered lizard. Increased airflow across your body reduces all cooldowns by 10%. That's pretty good. Then we have bone guard. Heal leg breaks 30% faster, fall from higher heights, and survive. And then Blood Sentinel. You heal from bleed 20% fast. These are good abilities. I like these. For front limb, we have Thumb Pummel. Camosaurus quickly raises up and delivers two blows with its hand spikes. Moderate damage and high bleed will be canceled early if used without movement keys. Interesting. And then we have Body Slam Right. A ferocious body slam that does high damage and knocks all creatures away from you can be used while running, consumes high stamina, successful hits cause you to experience recoil, a temporary 20% movement debuff. Wow. Left body slam is basically the same thing. And then for metabolism, we have wet season, hunger drain decreased by 20%, 
Stamina regeneration increased by 5%, ability to eat berries, fruits, and flowers. Dreadful dinner, decreased hunger drain by 5%, decreased thirst drain by 5%, increased venom healing by 30%, able to eat bones, mushrooms, and shellfish. Then dry season, 20% decreased water drain, health regeneration increased by 20%, and ability to eat nuts and fruits. Okay, for the hide, wow, we have a lot of hides for Primarosaurus here. The standard hide, 10% increased damage, 10% increased trotting speed, 10% increased venom healing. Then we have Stalwart Totem. Your Chimerasaurus unflinching attitude whips its allies into shape. This aura only activates while walking. All herbivores around you have their armor value increased by 7.5%. This person is really creative. Demon Totem. While trotting, the demon aura activates. Allies have attack increased by 10% and movement speed increased by 5%. This ability will cancel if you are not trotting. Rebounder. At the verge of death, you bounce back faster than before. Your sleeping heal rate is doubled. Your standing stamina recovery rate is increased by 15%. Then you have Strider. Adapted for closing distance. Trot speed multiplier increased by 30%. And stamina pool increased by 30%. Valiant Totem. Your Chimerasaurus can crouch to radiate valiance and inspire herbivores around it. All allies regenerate 2.5 health points every second when your Chimerasaurus is crouched. Crouching to use this ability consumes stamina. Must. Adrenaline and hormones exceed unsafe levels. All damage increased by 20, by 15%. Trotting speed increased by 10%. The Juggernaut, thick skin that decreases all incoming damage by 10%. Hyper intelligence, increased capacity for thought, reduces your cooldowns by 15%. Cross country, receiving an energy boost. Your Chimerasaurus has its stamina pool increased by 30% and a stamina regeneration increased by 15%. That's crazy. These are really good. I like these. You can have three at the same time too. And then our leg slots, we have left kick, medium damage. You may kick while moving, but it will quickly slow you. During this brief period, you turn moderately faster. Targets hit by your kick acquire a debuff known as winded, a 30% slow for four seconds. And then you right kick is basically the same thing, but for the right foot. Then we have for tail, we have tail swipe, low base damage with knockback but successful hits apply a debuff known as Laceration. For 15 seconds, Laceration makes the target take 10% more bleed from incoming sources. Laceration can stack onto a singular target up to 20 times. Wow. Depends on how much. Is it, well, 10%, right? Each tail whip can hit up to three times. And we're, we're gonna get that. <laughs> and then for our voice abilities, we have Storm Song. Chimerasaurus releases a mighty song from its soul channeling and getting 20% damage mitigation for this initial period only. Upon completing the channel, it receives the storm buff, a 25% movement speed increase, 30% cooldown reduction, 600% bleeding venom heal rate, and quadruple its maximum stamina for 15 seconds. It cannot use attacks while channeling this. So what is this like? Just a heal? Basically a heal song? Interesting. And then ultimate roar fossil force. Chimerasaurus rears itself up on its hind legs, channeling ancient energies into a mighty bellow. While channeling, it is unable to move or attack and leaves itself vulnerable. Additionally, Chimerasaurus receives 75% damage mitigation when channeling this ability. When the channel is complete, Chimerasaurus receives the Fossil Force, a 180 health point heal and a 35% buff to its damage for 35 seconds, 250 second cooldown all right and here are all the abilities they have a lot the first one is rabid bite oh snap i'm scared <laughs> that reminds me of uh gindy tarvoski's primal and one more time rabid bite next we have next sweep Ooh, that is aggressive and i love it one more time next sweep love it so much all right and now we have thumb pummel Ooh, i like it one more time thumb pummel then we have left kick all right and now we have right kick then we have left body slam Ooh. and now we have right body slam and then last but not least, we have Storm Song. Ooh. And 
And we have Fossil Force. He's an absolute beast. And that's about it for Camarasaurus here. If you guys like this video, definitely check out my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods. I also cover just news and updates as well as gameplay for Path of Titans or other games that you may like and just haven't seen yet. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.